We're now joined in the Infield Media Center by today's uh, winning driver, driver number 18, NOS Toyota, Kyle Bush. Kyle, tell us about your run. It was uh, <laughs> a really good run for us. You know, our car was really fast, and uh, Jason and the guys did a nice job. You know, we unloaded yesterday and weren't as good as we wanted to be and made some changes to the car in order to get it, uh, you know, handling kind of the, the way I like it. And uh, we just kind of wholesaled it there one time, and that one time was it. It, it was what we needed. So uh felt good about the race car today. It started out the race a little bit tight, and then I uh, didn't make a change and uh, went there the second run and got a little bit loose, and then we uh, decided we'd better tighten it up and make sure we stay with the racetrack and not get away. And so uh, for us, it was just a really good day, and uh, we kept it out front, kept it in clean air, and uh, had a good race. So, um, you know, unaware of what happened there at the end. I don't know if I had a wheel loose or what, but, you know, our guys are so fast on pit road. They do a great job, and uh, week in and week out, they're the best guys out there so um you know we made it to the end and uh <laughs> just made, barely made it ahead of the 20 car but uh barely was enough today to get win number 11. and uh now i did just set the nascar nationwide series uh record with 11 wins uh the 18 team also uh posted a perfect driver rating today of 150. uh we're also joined by uh winning crew chief jason ratcliffe uh jason uh your thoughts from on top of the box today well this has been um this has been one day that we've, you know, we've, we've been waiting for. We, uh, everybody's worked extremely hard. There's so many people. I can't thank them all. Um, it'd take me all night. But great group at Joe Gibbs Racing, the 18 team, like Kyle mentioned, uh, you know, the road crew, the pit crew, uh, the engine shop, just everybody uh, has a part of this, you know, these 11 wins that we've we've been able to accomplish so far. And I know it's a, it's a huge accomplishment for Kyle and, I'm just, you know, I'm really thankful to be a part of that. And a uh, great car today. Uh, like Kyle said, we worked on it in practice. We felt like looking back at our notes from last year, we uh, we knew what direction we needed to go, where we needed to end practice to be good for the day. And the car took off really good. And I think that was our strong suit, that we were really good in the first 20 laps of a run. Uh, and once you get the, you know, the first 20 laps under your belt, then you know, the guys may close in on you, but not enough to get up there and pass you. So, uh, great job on pit row. We made some adjustments. We had a scare there on the last stop after the big, uh, the big caution that threw debris all over the racetrack. We felt like, you know, we needed to pit and uh, make sure that we didn't have a flat. But we had a right rear tire on the wall. We were fixing to put on the car, and and uh, all of a sudden we noticed it had a slow leak in it. So we had to regroup really quick and uh, put a set of scuffs on the right side and and adjust some air pressures, trying to you know. Uh, figure out what that was going to do to the car. So, But it worked out. Great day. Uh, again, great job by Kyle and uh, a great accomplishment for all of us. We'll go ahead and open up to uh, questions in the media. Uh, we've got Lee and then Reed. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports for Kyle. At 25, aren't you just amazed? I mean, is this amazing to you what you have been able to accomplish in such a short period of time? I mean, you just kind of almost step back sometimes in awe. Um, <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, for myself, I like to go out there and, and, uh, come to think that I could win every weekend, you know, and there's those weekends that you don't win, you're a little disappointed and something didn't go your way or you made a mistake or, you know, things happen on pit road or whatnot. But, um, for where I am and, and where this team is this year and what we've been able to accomplish, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be where I'm at and, and, and couldn't be happier, you know, for myself and for Jason, um, you know, all the guys that Joe Gibbs racing that has made been a part of this and has made this happen uh you know one of our guys hadn't been to victory lane um ever and today was his first day in victory lane so it was really cool to do that i told him if i ever get to 11 man you're coming and uh we lived up to our word so i got it and he came so it was pretty cool and, uh to have to have the success that we've had this year the past three years running a nationwide series has been awesome and uh you know i can only hope it continues there's a lot more left you had mentioned victory lane leo is that yeah. who you're referring to okay yeah. and who is he Leo Thorson, he's our car chief. He's uh, he's never been to Victory Lane, uh, from what I know, right? No, he says. Uh, I asked him why he never go. Well, when he first came to work here, after we won a few races, he never came to Victory Lane. I'm like, what? You know, were you bashed for or what? He goes, No, I didn't win the race. I don't deserve to go to Victory Lane. So he he just got to understand Leo. He's uh, he he's great. He's awesome. He's a huge part of this race team. Uh, he works tremendously hard, and uh, he said, if you can do, you know, he told Kyle, if you can win 11. I'll be there. So he was probably as excited today as anybody 
uh, I've ever seen, which he should be. He's uh, It's his first trip to Victory Lane. He's been waiting, waiting 11 this year to get there. So, uh, you know, that's great for him, like Kyle mentioned. Appreciate that. Reed. I'm Reed Spencer with Sporting News. Kyle, this is a mark you've been chasing for a couple of years now. And can you just um, tell us what it means to you to finally get there, finally hit this milestone and uh, and and break the tie with Sam? Uh, it's it's very special. I mean, Sam is a, is a great individual and was a great driver in his time. And uh, for myself to come out and be able to compete at that level and to get as many wins in a season is hard enough to do. But then to go out there and, and beat a record that's – <laughs> And then to, yeah, good job. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I was. Thanks, Carl. Have a good night. No, not the whole time. I'm going to have to find out what that's all about. Uh, no, um, you know, just for where Sam Ard was in, in his day and to where we are today, I mean, I feel like a lot has changed in this sport. And, of course, it's always challenging to go out there and, and get a win on a given weekend. But uh, for us, you know, to win 11 this year is, is very, very special to me. And uh, that's why I say it should be so special to, to Jason and to all these guys on the team because they're all a part of it. Vince. Vince Bonfigli, WNJC Radio. Uh, Kyle, it seems like Joey said he had trouble on the restarts, but I've seen you countless races now. You've, you're always out of the gate in the restarts. I asked him if it was either his driving technique or something that he had to adjust in the car. I'm going to ask you is the trick to your restarts, your driving technique, or something Jason's done to the car? Uh, I'm going to say it, it's a little bit of both. I mean, sometimes you play to, to how your restarts are going to be, but uh, not not all the time. I mean, it's more driver technique, really, than anything. But uh, you just have to figure out what you're doing, you know, what your car is. And, you know, we have big rear springs in these things, so they're not they're not like Martinsville Springs where you're going to have forward bite for a restart. You know, you're going to have to make sure that you don't spin the tires, you don't get – uh, crooked, you get through the gears good, you don't hit the rev chip. As soon as you hit that chip, it's just you slow down, you know. Um, so you just have to hit all your marks uh, cleanly and, and do it right. And then uh, once you get to the corner, it's uh, whoever can hold it down the hardest, the longest. Anything further for these gentlemen? Clear upstairs. We'll have a follow-up here with Vince. Hi, Kyle. Uh, another thing I want to ask you is uh, – You've won 11 races. They said if you ran the whole season without missing any, you'd be the points leader. Do you regret not running the whole season? I would have liked to have run the whole season, but, you know, I look back and know what the bigger picture is, and the bigger picture is Sunday, so that's tomorrow. And I learned a lot today uh, in order to help out, and I'm going to talk to Dave tonight about what we can do for the car tomorrow, uh, for the car for tomorrow, not the car tomorrow, uh, you know, in tomorrow's race. So, I feel like there was some, some changes throughout the event and the way that the tire rubber was laid down and the way the track kind of changed, the way the shade kind of came in uh, and what all happened there. I know the race, our race is going to be a little bit sooner during the day and whatnot tomorrow. So, um, you know, you can learn a little bit. But I wish I would have ran the whole schedule. But on the other hand, you know, I'm, I'm glad I, I didn't and I could go after the 11 wins and I can go after trying to get a championship in the Cup Series. Bob Margolis, FoxSports.com. Kyle, you're talking about tomorrow, and it's supposed to be about 20 degrees cooler tomorrow. Does that mean that first stint's probably going to be pretty much a free-for-all with everybody trying to figure out what their car needs and what, it, what, what it's doing? Um, yeah, I think it's not necessarily just the first stint, but probably the second, maybe the third. You know, Some guys are going to come out of the gate really strong and maybe adjust on their car and over-adjust, and then they're going to have to go through that stint you know, ill handling and then go into the third one, fix it. Other guys are going to leave their car. Other guys are going to be horrible to start, fix it, you know, whatever. So, so many different races that are going to be run. It's hard to say what's going to happen, but uh, hoping that we can come out of there like we did today and uh, just have a good, solid start and kind of log some laps and see what's happening with the racetrack and with the car and uh, determine some good adjustments for the pit stop. Gentlemen, congratulations and thank you for your time. Alrighty, thanks.